All right. This is going to be a bumpy ride. So here's the plan today guys, we are going to beat the crap out of a Gravely Pro Turn 460 going in places that no lawnmower should ever go if you want to ever use it again. So why not do it? But you've always been around, please don't leave me Lord, stay around from the cradle. something that's almost impossible for me and that's to shut up and let you guys just listen to this motor work for a minute because we're gonna hit some grass that's about six foot tall and thicker than the hairs on a gorilla's back and this motor doesn't miss a beat. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Somebody wants to go mowing. Do you want to go mowing? Do you want to go mowing, Lucy? Do you want to go mowing, Lucy? Lucy, let's show them what we're, plot, what we're mowing. My uncle was in here plowing the other day and this is what we're mowing and cutting. There's the plowed field there. And he brought the tractor over here but he wants this all cut down and cleared out. There's our deer hunting stand right there. Come on, you wanna come, come on. Come on. You wanna come up in the deer stand? Come on up. Come on. Welcome to the deer stand, you guys. Lucy, you coming up? It's a you can't do a ladder? I had a dog that could climb ladders like no problem. Actually, I think it was part black and tan coonhound like that one. Lucy can't do ladders, so. Can you guys got a dog that can do ladders? Put it in the comments down below. Let's go mowing though. specs for you guys on this Gravely Pro Turn 460. It runs off a 35 horsepower Kawasaki engine. It uses a dual hydro gear commercial hydrostatic transmission and it has a 7 gauge welded steel design. It also incorporates an easy lift deck system that takes a lot less effort to raise and lower and has 19 different cutting positions. I literally just read that off from their website just to save you guys some time because I know there's a few of you that just love knowing the specs on equipment. Pop. Pop. Huh. She didn't pop. Alright. So let's take a look at how tall this stuff is we're mowing. How thick this stuff is. 
I think the Gravely's uh, kicking butt, to be honest with you. Now I gotta somehow get my truck and trailer closer to the action because I'm using that. So now here's my personal feelings on this. I listed some specs for you guys earlier because I think some of you guys like knowing some of that stuff. Now this mower has a 60 inch cutting deck, but this seat is freaking amazing. It's so comfortable. Banging through this brush like this, it just, I would have normally been hunched over. I mean, 48 years old, this stuff takes its toll on you. But nope, that seat saved my back. Let's see what we're mowing over. That's uh, there you go. That's some pretty stuff, pretty thick stuff. Last time I was in here, I was using a forestry mulcher. You guys think I can mow that? Comment down below. I think we should try. How bad is it in here? I heard the dog drinking water from somewhere. I guess it's gotta be from somewhere around in here. We're gonna come right back to this swampy land, but right now we're gonna take a break and head to the cow pasture and see if we can get my son to help me. Hey boy. How about trying to mow this stuff? What do you mean, no? I don't know how to trust that metal. Mow around it, don't mow over it. Well, there could be rocks and metal stuff, because last time when we were cutting along this edge, I looked in and there was like beds everywhere. Plus, there's nothing over here. So this is the kind of stuff Colton was worried about. Hitting. I don't know why. Well, we can mow that too, but I say let's give this stuff a try. This looks like it's tougher. Okay, you go wide ahead. All right, you mow, I'll, I'll take. I'll do easy side. Go slow. Go slow. Don't, yeah, don't rush into it, because if we hit a piece of metal, I, I mean, well, I don't want you to. Well, I'm not doing that side first. Yeah, just go right in here. Let's see if it can do it. He's worried about the mower breaking. You know how to start it? I do know how to start it. <sighs> okay, so one of the things about the Gravely, both of them that I've noticed, is pull the, when you pull that parking brake up, if your mower won't start, that, your mom had a problem with it right there, it's got a detent. So push it down once. Now pull it up just slightly. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you'll feel a detent right there. That, take your hand off, right there is where people sometimes think the parking brake is as on, but it's not. So if you try to start it right now, go ahead and try to start it. Where's the key? Oh. And that's what happens, nothing, right? Now pull that back to you feel it firmly engage. Now try to do the same thing. So I had the same, that problem on that one and that one, because if you hop off and someone else hops on, and it doesn't start, and it looks like the parking brake is engaged, it may not be. All right, let's go right through it. Slow this time. Oh, you gotta engage the blades. Yeah, I know. Hi, hey, you gotta throttle it all the way up to engage the blades. Uh, on mowers, you've always gotta throttle them all the way up to engage the blades, that way that the, uh, the belt gets uh, tightened up right away or engaged right away. Nah, because we're mowing really tall grass, so we leave the chute up so it doesn't plug up the deck. Is this touching the ground or no? 
What? Is this touching the ground? Oh. The deck? Yeah. The deck's good right now. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, we don't, and we don't want to mow this too tight to the ground because it's really what? uneven ground. Looks like he's. All right, you stay on this side of the electrical fence. I'm gonna see how close I can get to it. Electric, I'm going under. Any of you guys ever pissed on an electric fence? I didn't think it was real. Then I did it. Then I was convinced it's real. Hey, if I get pummeled by it, throw a rock at it. Throw a rock at it or something. He is definitely looking at me. That's one bull you don't mess with. One of the stories, this is not gonna be a good story, you guys. Some of you guys are gonna be pissed, but I don't really care. Growing up here, me and my cousin would used to take our BB guns, that is a big bull, and shoot, shoot the bulls in the butt with just a lightweight daisy BB gun. It would just be more to tick them off and then these big behemoths would come chase. So we were like eight, nine, ten. They'd come chasing us. Oh crap, I just stepped in crap. And uh, then we would jump up on top. We had an old combine out here. We'd jump up on top of the combine and they'd be charging us all the way around. God, that thing is just good. Right oh yeah, we just had a new calf too. They'd be charging us and then what? That's, don't get close. That thing is staring you down. I know, dude. He is, look at, he's just got no mercy in his eyes. He's using the tree to get the bugs off from him. Yeah, I know. That is so cool. God, that's just an amazing animal. And then when we'd be stuck up on the combine, though, with the bulls ch charging around us, the horses would see it. And they'd come over and rescue us and start kicking the bulls. I would have never thought horses would do that, but they did. They were pretty cool. He's looking at me. I don't think I'm gonna push it. Nope, not getting the warm fuzzies from the ball. Should we go back to mowing now? Yeah, it's still standing down. I know, I noticed. Bumblebees right yeah, here. Bumblebees. 
Oh yeah, well, well you, you know, bumblebees. No, that you know they'll fly away. Actually, I checked all these for monarchs. That was my concern. I didn't want to mow these yet, if the cat monarch caterpillars were still on them, but they're gone. Yeah, but I don't want to get rid of bumblebees. Okay, but they flew right there. See, they I just. I know, but these are still their thing. All right, we'll mow around these no, ones we're then. Not gonna hurt the beautiful nature of bumblebees. We don't have them. Oh. All right, we'll mow this crap. This is not bumblebee food right here. When you can mow the bumblebee food. Come on, we'll mow, bumblebee. mow around it. This it. isn't right here. Still, I don't want to hurt bumblebee. Just get over here and mow. You know, this is your fault. If you get comments saying you're hurting nature, blame it on him. He's making me doing this. this is, I saw bumblebees. You won't, I won't give you a ride home if you don't do it. How's that? Well, then I won't shoot your video for you. <laughs> Come on. Get going. Uh, Are your kids this slippy? Excuse, excuse me, Wa. <laughs> See if you can figure out how to start it. I could figure it out probably. It's easy, I think. That won't start too much. Wait, I'm confused. What? Oh, that's why. Okay. Sneak me out. Alright. You got it. guys one other little pointer and this one may sound stupid but hey it just happened to me um, if your mower won't start check your fuel level and I know you're gonna say oh but whatever but here's the thing I've got a full tank of fuel and I've been looking at my right hand gauge and I forgot that I have dual fuel tanks my left tank was completely bone dry and I was running off from the left tank Do you know why I had you mow that instead of me? Jeez, Poppy, what? No. That way, when Uncle Tom says, who mowed my pasture? Oh. I could say with an honest oh. face, it was you. No, don't even. He's gonna, is, no, because you're the one who forced me to do this. He's going to be so mad. Yeah, you, why doesn't he want his pasture mowed anyway? He doesn't. Why? Well, I mean, doesn't, why? It's, it's for the cows. Well, the cows are not allowed over here. You're in trouble. Oh, you're in trouble. So it's come to my understanding that not all of you actually use your commercial mowers to mow hay fields. Um, so you probably want to see how well this performs on a regular job. Well, here we are at one of my accounts after we've used and abused this out in the pasture. And it's, we didn't level the deck. We didn't have to readjust anything. She's just going and going and going. Let's just show you how it is. into that swampy grass and just see how well it does because it gets a little bit wetter and thicker in there.
Well, I think we went far enough. I think we proved the point. Found another one. Lucy! Look what I found. Hey you guys, let's play a trick on everybody else that didn't make it to the end of the video. Just comment snake down below and we'll confuse come check the it out? heck out of them. They'll be wondering why everybody's just saying snake. Another one. They're all over out here. Be careful now. You know how they spray. It's gonna end up spraying me, not you. Oh, it's, yep, it sprayed. Yep. <laughs> Why do you keep smelling it? Little garter. Oh, do you, oh, look at that. You little garter. Is she trying to bite? Little baby snake's trying to bite. I used to have one of these so tame. It would sit in my hair. I'd sit as a kid, sit and watch TV and it'd curl up in my hair and What do you think? Did we do we do enough, Lucy? It's Saturday night. We should probably go actually have some life somewhere, huh? Not out in the middle of a field mowing hay pastures. You got a horse fly in your eye. Hold on, Lucy, hold on. You got a horse fly in your eye, a little snake's trying to bite your nose. Life is good, huh? Are we all good, Lucy? Alright. Look at this thing. I'm not holding it, it's holding me. That's pretty cool. All right, let's put it away. Let's go put it away. All right, and that's all we got for you today, guys. I'm gonna go do something. I don't know, Saturday night. Probably play with this snake some more. No, no, we're gonna go. All right, I kinda do wanna play with this snake. Look at you drooling. That instantly makes you drool, doesn't it? It's got me, Lucy. Look at, I can't get away from the snake. It loves me. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you for tonight. Sorry, I'm having too much fun. This is a blast. Honestly, you guys, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for letting me be able to come out here and try to mow a hay pasture with a commercial lawnmower. Thank you for everything. God bless you guys. Go get them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you pulled something out of it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And while you're here, hit the subscribe button. Tell your buddies about my channel. I appreciate that a whole heck of a lot. And check out the video here and the other one right here. Hi. That snake is definitely looking at me. As long as it doesn't juke in my mouth. Let it go. And we're out, Lucy. Let's go home. Come on.